Welcome back. Uh, today in the video, I'm going to be installing this uh, Hume Haven 4 uh, Hampton style entrance door in this Gainsborough uh, Tri Lock Eclipse uh, stainless steel entrance lever set. I'm based on the uh, north side of Brisbane, and this job involves one whole car ride, one whole barge, to end up at the destination of Russell Island. So the problem is due to the design of how this house was built. There's no eaves over the top here and the front door is back in this section here. And unfortunately what we've got here, we've got this tiled section and this, the floor is running out of level. So when it rains, comes in, hits here, these tiles and goes into the house. This finished floor level is the same throughout. So the solution is we're going to chuck a front door on the front here on this existing jam. Now as I've got an existing jam to work with, I've got a few things I want to check first. Main things is plumb, both this way and that way. And I want to look at how actual square this is here. And then lastly, just my measurements for my actual door. Had a look at all of my jams and everything's good enough to work with and consistent. I've got a nice level on the hinge side. The door's going to be opening out that way, which is nice to work with. And same on this uh, lock side. I do have outer plumb this way, but checking it with the, the laser, I'm consistently the same amount out of level. So that means when the door is going to open and shut, this part here will end up being nice and flush due to both being out of level the same amount. So in all in all, it's a, not a bad uh, pre-jammed spot to work off for a door. So now that I know these jams are sweet to work with, and I'm now gonna go ahead and mark out my hinges. So I'm gonna have one at the top, one at the bottom, one in the middle. The middle is just center of the door. The top one, 150 down from the top of the jam, and the bottom one up 230 mil. three hinges cut out. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put up this, my door stop up here and tack it. And that way I can put my door up and check my three mil quirks around the jam. So I've got the door up here now, and what I've done, I've got it five mil off the bottom. I've already gone ahead and cut down the door so that I know I've got enough gaps. And I'm just gonna work with my three mil gaps on those sides there. While I'm on this side of the door, I'm gonna mark my hinge placement, and then I'll be able to router my hinge out on my hinges side. On this side here, it's really, really close, but I'll go on the inside and mark with my three mil packer nice line at the top and bottom and then that will be my cuts for this uh, lock side and the top. So actually when I got the inside here it is pretty much bang on my three mil 
probably a quarter of a mil off, so it's not even worth touching. And then my top, it's nice there, but a little bit tight there. So I'm just gonna take that tiny bit of a line off there and then the door will be cut, good to go. So I'm just gonna use the sander just to get to that line because it just needed probably a quarter of a mil, half a mil to get to that line. So that's all my hinges routed out on my uh, door here. I'm now gonna go around and uh, paint all four ed edges of this door, plus I'm gonna paint my hinges on my jam. So the door's ready to go, put on a jam. Um, the way I'll do it while I'm by myself, I've got these pump wedges, put the door underneath it. I'll pump it up with my foot, and then that'll bring that up, I'll bring up the door, and then I can just keep playing with it till my hinges end up working out to where my checkouts are. have a door. Ended up with nice three mil gap all the way there and all the way along the top. Nice gap finish. Same down these sides. Looking lovely. And then these hinges looking like a nice finish. So I did just have a little bit of discrepancy there but I'll just bog that up and there'll be no worries and we'll just keep moving on. I've got this door all swinging. Uh, next thing I want to do is I want to get this door lock going before I put my door stops on. So I've just gone and put this template on to use as my reference and then I've just got put one little hole there in the center there and I can line that up with where my mark is and then the rest will marry up nice and uh, beautiful. So I'll just go ahead and drill each point and then I'll go from there. Sometimes these templates are like pretty much just paper, but this Gainsborough one is uh, pretty nice. It's a nice cardboard one, so I definitely recommend using it in this situation, but sometimes there's paper ones and there's only a couple of holes. I'll just measure it out, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six, six holes, seven holes in this one. So you're just better off using that template and you can't go wrong. So now these uh, holes are drilled out. The next step is to totally cut that out. So I'm gonna actually use my trimmer. And what I've done is I've put my trimmer up up hard against the edge there, and then set my stop. And then I'll just do passes as needed until it all goes through. That's all nice and cut out there. Doesn't matter too much if you just go a little bit over like I have here because the lock will roughly go like that and around it. It's just enough so the whole mechanism can fit through it. So just about to put on the finishing touches of this part on the door. You want to make sure these grooves line up with the grooves on the inside. And then this section here, you're going to want to have like that. And then just slip them in and then put the screws on in the end and then you're good to go.
And before you go too crazy with everything, you just want to make sure everything works nice. So that box, internal release, beautiful. put all these door stops on. Um, I just made sure while I've got this shut, put that shut, make sure I have a one mil gap there for paint. And that's my governing point for the whole way around. And then that's how I worked out my door stops. Now I've got these three final touches I'm gonna to put on. We're just gonna put on this latch, just so that when the door opens, it will stay nice and uh, in position. Door stop and this weather strip to put on the bottom. Now, just the way that it is, we want it to be hitting this finished floor and this inside rather than the outside. The outside's a bit lower, so we're gonna put it on this side, which means we're gonna put it in between door stop to door stop, which means when you do open it, it will be a bit short there, and be kind of a bit weird looking in some of the other side, but for the sake of this, we're going for practicality rather than looks. So now it does just, most of these uh, weather strips just stick on. So that I am personally never a fan of just sticking these on as more than likely the whole point of these weather strips is that friction comes to this finished floor and it, I just believe not wouldn't take much for that stickiness to rip off. And if you leave this door open and weather comes in this way and water, it's just gonna deteriorate that ad adhesive. So I've got some screws and I'm gonna put about screws every uh, even spaces. I might do five and then, yeah, I'll do the trick. So that's all finished up. So what I've done as well, I've made sure that all of these finishes are all stainless steel. Um, this is a stainless steel tri-lock, games with tri-lock, stainless steel latch there and door stop. And also for the hinges, stainless steel screws and hinges. Um, these weather strips you normally can't really get in stainless steel, but I've got stainless steel screws on there. And the reason for that is because we're just so close to the water, but I'll come show you. And as you can see, we're nice and close to the water, which is why we need that uh, stainless steel finishes. But uh, I think I'll finish off the day here and I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> oh no. Oh well. <laughs> Guess we're not having flat head for dinner. <laughs> what have we got here? It's tangled up. No good. <laughs> I'm gonna do a really cool little finish of a video. And then I just embarrass myself. <laughs> I can't even untangle one little bit of wire. I can hang a door, but I can't untangle <laughs> some fishing line.